what's up guys let me show you the relationship between CP and CV for ideal gases and one important thing I want to tell you is that you need to know a lot on first law and closed systems and open systems so if you are in starting for example on the pure substances you will have a hard time to get that if you're ready uh, study first law you will probably get a little bit on this and yeah essentially I'm going to show you how to get the CP CV relationship here which is beautiful well thing number one I'm going to make the definition on the first law internal energy equals that differential of heat plus the differential on work Let's call this equation number one. Now, by definition, you know that the heat added to a system at constant pressure and the differential of temperature will give you Cp or heat, whatever you want to call it. And also that of work for a closed system or open system, sorry, is pressure times differential of uh, the volume. Or specific volume so let me call this equation number two and equation number three if you have any doubt just comment and I will add you a video in which I explain you exactly what is the thing or the problem or the doubt or the solution okay and from here guys you will see that if I substitute this value right here equation two in equation one I will get this value and if I substitute equation three in equation one, which is here, I'm going to get this value right here. So let me call this master equation number four. Um, just because I am fancy, I want to get inside this pressure. So I got the pressure inside the differential. You know that when something is constant, you can either let it inside or outside the differential. Let me call this four prima. Now it's time to expand this value and form this, okay? Uh, PV, you know that DP, okay. Oh, sorry. You want to get this value here from equation four prima. And how do we get that? I don't know, but you may use the first law, you know that PV equals RT. And I'm going to differentiate that and call this equation number five. So differentiate this and differentiate this. I'm going to leave left side alone because that's what I want. What's the point on solving that? I just want to solve to the right. So since R is a constant, you may take it out. And since R is a constant, you know that this, hopefully you know that it's like A, B and B, A. The differential of any constant will be zero. So that's why I'm canceling this and the constant goes out and the differential temperature, well, we leave it. And I call this equation, equation number six. So once again, the equation I just got, I'm going to substitute it in four prima. So this equation right here, the differential on pressure and volume, I'm going to substitute it right here. And I got this right here. Equation number seven. Now, uh, at any time, you know that by definition, the internal energy will be equal to that of the specific heat capacity at, con at constant volume times the differential on temperature. Let's call it eight. And not only that, I'm going to substitute this value in equation number seven, which is here. So instead of having du, I'm going to have cv dt, which is here. And as you can see, probably, I can cancel all the differentials on temperature and I get this value, equation number nine, which by itself is already beautiful. But if you want to, let's say, uh, have it all positive values, you will have this equation. The constant, the specific heat capacity, or the specific heat capacity at constant pressure equals that of the specific heat capacity of that substance at this, let's say, constant volume, 
plus the constant of ideal gases. And this is only valid, of course, with ideal gas, because we use that here, I suppose, ideal gas. And that's essentially everything I wanted to show you about CP and CV, okay? It's right here, so beautiful. That's why in many cases, if not every case, because of course I'm telling you this only for ideal gases, but there are many ideal gases, and CP will be always greater than CV. And it's time to see latent heat in the next video. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.